Hey guys, this is Second Gen 1, One UI 3 Beta 3 for Galaxy Note 10 Plus has been released. And again, special thanks to T-Shock for taking his time and being the only one sharing these beta ROMs. This video would not have been possible without him. Just letting you guys know, the official One UI 3 will come out next month or early February. So if you are still interested to install this beta where formatting is mandatory, then you can proceed. Otherwise, I advise you to be patient and wait until the official One UI 3 comes out and you can flash it using Odin without deleting any of your data and yes, you will get OTA updates. A notice was sent by Samsung that Samsung Pass and Samsung Pay issues has been fixed and advised to roll back to get it working again. Therefore, in this tutorial, you will first have to back up as you will be formatting your device, then you will install Beta 3 because that's the requirement. If you have already backed up, then you can skip as per the timestamp. Otherwise, you can follow along for a complete backup, including Samsung Internet and WhatsApp messages. Now, the first step is on your device, just go to the settings. Make sure that you are signed into your Samsung account. Then just go back, scroll down until you see accounts and backup. From here, click on backup and restore, then backup data. Now what you have to do is, you have to press on backup. And this will backup all of your data, home screen apps and whatnot. Now once it is backed up, just go back, then go back again. Now what you have to do is, just click on the Samsung internet if you're using, then on the bottom right, go to settings. So you click on the sync with the Samsung cloud. Then from here, click on sync. And it will sync all of your Samsung internet, notes, reminder, and all of those info. Now once that is done, let us go to WhatsApp. Now from here, just go in the top right corner and then go to settings, chats, then click on chat backup. Then from here, click on include the videos. If you want to backup through Wi-Fi, that would be preferred. Otherwise, you can put on cellular. Make sure you have Google account signed into your account. Then press backup. Now, once you have backed up your phone, just go to home screen, then my files. Now from here, make sure that you have inserted SD card because once you back up using smart switch, some files does not back up. So just go to internal storage and just select the ones that is not associated to application. So this one is not associated. Just gonna scroll down a bit to Gcam and so new folder then I also advise you to select all of your WhatsApp messages because it is just in case it is better to back that up as well and then press on move go to SD card then from here click a new storage in the new folder then move it here on your computer launch smart switch if you don't have smart switch the link will be on description below if you don't have Samsung drivers just click on the three dots and press reinstall device driver now once that is done, you will have to restart your computer. And then what you have to do is, is to connect your phone using a USB cable. And then make sure that you unlock your phone. Press on backup. And then you can select all of the files you want to backup from your device. Now from the external storage, I don't want to back that up, so I will just uncheck this. However, if you want to back up the SD card, 
which is not necessary but you can do that as well now once that is done just press ok and it should back up your phone now leave your computer and your phone alone until it fully backs up you should now see the backup has been completed sign and if you do not see this and if smart switch automatically closes then that means your backup process has been disturbed therefore you will need to backup again now once that is done just press ok and then close the window now make sure that you download these three files the link will be on the description below right click and extract it here now once the file has been extracted launch odin as administrator Press on BL and locate your file. So you can see here it shows BL, just click on that. So the same AP. Then click on CP. So now here you have to click on csc underscore omc since you have already backed up so click on this one if you click this one then you will definitely get errors so make sure that you click on csc underscore omc now make sure that you unplug the cable and then shut down your phone Once you shut down your phone, hold the volume up button and volume down button simultaneously and do not click on the power button. Now connect your phone using a USB cable. Then you should see the warning sign. Now click on volume up button to go to download mode. On your computer, simply press on start. Now close the Odin and on your phone just quickly set up it. Just connect the cable and just go next and all. Now you have to input the pin which you use to lock your device. Press skip or if it asks you to verify your Google account just log into your Google account that was previously locked in on your device. So once you have updated your phone you should now be on the build number of DTL3. Now once your phone has been updated, just go to your file explorer, local disk drive, then you should see your platform tools. If you don't have it, then the link will be on description below. Anyways, simply drag the OTA file to your platform fault. Now once that is done, just right click and run as administrator. Now from here, <clears throat> now on your device, just make sure that you go to the settings. Let me just adjust the brightness very quick here. So just go all the way down on a bad device, then go to software info then tap build number seven times then you should see developer has been enabled just go back then you should see developer options from here make sure that you toggle on USB debugging now once that is done just connect your phone to your computer again using USB cable 
and leave your phone alone. And then on your phone it should pop up a window, just press allow. Now simply type the following all of these codes. So first we'll put ADB devices, enter. So you should see list of devices. This is the connected device. However, it shows unauthorized. So make sure that you reconnect the cable. Then open up your phone. Then you should see a window. Simply press allow. Now going back here, simply type ADB devices. Then you should see the device has been attached. Now we'll put the second code, so ADB reboot recovery, enter. Then your phone should go to the recovery mode. Now get, disconnect the cable. Just going to show you here very quick. So go to apply update from ADB, press power button, and now connect your phone using a USB cable. Then type up the following so ADB space side load space ota.zip press enter and now leave your phone and computer alone So if you see an error like fail to read command no error for example nothing to worry your phone will process the way it should you should be able to get the one ui 3 beta 3 in it so you can just close your cmd and let us focus on the device itself and yeah that's basically it i hope you enjoyed the beta 3 and so far i didn't find any bugs all of the bugs from the previous updates has been fixed seems like a final build However, Samsung Pay still doesn't work in UAE except in UK. We may have to wait for a little while and see if there's any changes in that. However, some have reported that Samsung Pay works. So in order to make it work, you have to be in One UI 2.5. You have to sign up at your card. Then you install Beta 3 and then it should work out. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Do like, subscribe and comment below if it worked out for you or if you have any questions. And see you guys the next one. Peace out.